my parents are like incredible people. The one thing they were not though is artists. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you all the art genes in the family, right? Yeah, maybe. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> I have no clue. Hi, my name is Pierre Perifel, and this is When Zay Zay Met. And today, Zay Zay Met Me. I am Zay Zay and welcome to When Zay Zay Met. Today we have an amazing director in our midst. He's the director of award-winning short films like uh, Bilby and Le Building. And now it's DreamWorks, the bad guys. You know him, you love him. Here he is with us today. This is Pierre Perifel. Hey everybody. Hey, All right. Crazy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good Thanks for be, being with us today. Good to be here. Really excited. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, so um, let's start at the beginning. You grew up in Lyon, France, yeah. right? Tell me a little bit about what it was like growing up for you. I think uh, uh, very, very peaceful, very quiet. Like my 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 parents are like incredible people. With uh, we always, you know incredible love for me and my brother and uh, and and quite uh, you know super dynamic healthy people you know um, and always doing like you know we were traveling a lot and just just uh, very active you know um, the one thing they were not though is artists and so it's kind of, <laughs> kind of me kind of breaking out breaking out and just doing my own thing and and, uh, and wanting to become one um, but no I mean it was very uh, it was a great childhood, really. That's wonderful. So, yeah. so they weren't necessarily artists. They gave you all the art genes in the family, right? All of that. Well, yeah, to... maybe. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> I have no clue. Nobody but... ever told you. Your mom never said, "Oh, you got your artistic thing from your grandmother or your great grandfather." Maybe my aunt. My aunt was was drawing, but she was drawing, you know, those technical drawings for like the electric lines and like it's more like a. Um, Kind of a more like architects type mm, of you know right. art, art form you know but right. or, or designing but uh, at first i wanted to be when i grew up i wanted to become a, a physical therapist slash like working with athletes you know i've always okay. been like so into sports and stuff but uh and then but i always loved drawing and then and then one day i just meet uh a friend of mine at my high school who's like he's in the art class and he's like yeah you could you should come and check out and you like to draw and then and i went there i was like oh my god this is awesome they're having fun there <laughs> it's just like you know they had their you know paint brushes in their hair it's just like stains of paint wow. everywhere i was like this is what i want to do and so i kind of bifurcated and just started doing this uh with the the aim of becoming a a, a car designer i wanted to do those you know those concept girl sketches you know those like oh this yeah 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 amazing yeah uh and then discovered animation really late really i mean like late a few a few maybe a couple of years later and discovered okay. animation and, and was like wow people do those cartoons and and and, and they animate on paper and then those lines on paper just become those characters become alive you know and Absolutely. so that was magic to me oh man and you create magic like everything that i've seen that you that you've put your hands on has definitely been magical um thank you man thank you you're welcome you're definitely welcome um new animators today right they have so many tools at their disposal right so many tools that are even free now that you can get your hands on if you want to just yeah. jump in and start animating yeah. everything from computer stuff all the way to i mean obviously a pen and pad or a pencil and pad right and education as well education and, and social like social media just to get influence of course yeah yeah absolutely if you had to start your career over today but you still right. knew what you know now how would you get into it if I was to start my career, what do you mean? Like, if I knew what I knew now, if I was like, if I, if I was kind of skilled as like I am now in terms of the experience or. Yeah. Like uh, Pierre is going to jump in a DeLorean and we're going to go back in time and Pierre has to start his career over right now. Right now. What would you, how, what, how would you jump into your career now? What would you do? I mean, the first, the first thing, no matter what, no matter what time period, is, uh, and I don't think there is any way to kind of not do that. Is like to be incredibly passionate about it. Passion. There is, yeah, I think there is no, 
I don't, it, it's not, it's, it's a very, it's a long acquired skill, by the way. Animation, just to become a great animator takes years, right? Even, even if now you have all those tools and stuff, it doesn't mean that you don't need to learn the basics. Um, uh, and therefore it takes, it's a long route, right? And so I think definitely passion, just being incredibly passionate about what you do and just, and just be curious, you know? Mm. But that hasn't changed in the last 15, 20, 100 years. It's the same thing, really. <laughs> right. um, um, and true, no matter what you do, whether you want to be a chef no, or you want to yes, be an animator exactly. or you want to be an actor or you want to be, exactly. you know, anything. Yet passion, passion is passion. At every every single profession, really. But artistically speaking, I think even artistically speaking, I think the passion and curiosity are really definitely, uh, you know, some of the main drivers. Um, I I think. Nowadays, it's very easy to become an animator without drawing, because you can jump straight into computer animation, which is that's true. Um, animating like uh, digital puppets, right? That's right. what we do. Right. Um, I got a much more classical training, which is coming from animating traditionally on paper and just all doing all of this, which is kind of an old school <laughs> <laughs> now. But frankly, this gave me so much, uh, so much. Um, um, more in terms of how to look at things, how to design things, how to see the graphic quality of a of a of an attitude, of a pose, of a of an image, how to compose an image, how to uh, to craft um, you know an image and speak with drawings and 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 so I can I can really quickly sketch something for you that will explain you exactly what I mean, mm. um, which a lot of kids going or kids or younger you know students going straight into uh, you know, computer graphic animation won't have that knowledge. It's all going to be focused on motion and um, acting, and they're amazing at it. Wow. Um, but I think that dim dimension of the graphic quality and the design quality, you, sometimes they don't have it, oftentimes, when you don't go through that kind of classical, more classical training. So that's something that I wouldn't, I wouldn't avoid even if i were to start again now i would go back and at least do some you know drawing classes and and, and really just immerse myself into like strong drawing bases um but you know uh do do you need to do six years of like heavy you know art studies maybe not as much you know maybe you can just find a find a way to go to, to short, shortcut that now and just try to enter a studio faster you know because you learn so much within a studio really absolutely absolutely so um, it's, it's it's a little hard to answer this question it's a great question i never had it before it's frank i was like okay how do you do this but it's great man. but definitely you're doing, great. you're doing good definitely being passionate about you know pursuing this and it needs to be the main driver you know I love it. I love it. You're absolutely right. Um, the bad guys. Let's talk about it real quick. Um, what was your? This is your directorial feature length directorial debut, right? Like everything yep. has been shorts up until now, and yep. it looks like it feels like your entire career has been building to this. Like you, you, everything you've done has led you right here. Well, I mean, you could say the same about all of us, right? But it's almost like you crafted your career to be right here and this is where you're meant to be. What was your plan going into making the bad guys? That's, um, that's very, I, mean, I love your questions. Um, <laughs> it's, it's great, man, because it's so interesting that you say this because it's my career at DreamWorks because I spent 14, 15 years now, like 14 years at DreamWorks since I arrived, I arrived to the US to work here and then never left. Uh, and it has been like interesting enough, you know, started as an animator and just, you know, decided, decided to keep learning. I want to always want to learn more, you know, and so it, it really was, okay, now I understand how to animate. Can I learn something else? Well, then what do you want to do? Be a supervising animator. So learn how to manage a little team. And then, and then ahead of animation, learn to manage a bigger team, which is a whole department and then interact more with production and stuff. And so that's been kind of the the way I've been approaching those years here at the studio and, and incredibly grateful for the studio to actually give me those opportunities because I got all of them. You know, I, I managed to, go, to, 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 to try out so many different things. Um, and, um, but through that career, there's also moments where things don't work, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I've worked on a few movies in a row that were not made. You know, you work a lot and then 
for many reasons, different reasons, you know, they don't, they stop being made. And so they, we don't make them, we don't release them. Um, and I, I got a little unlucky through this because I, you know, it was like two or three literally in a row with like an, a big investment on my end. And so sure. sometimes you're like so depleted and defeated because uh, it feels like all the work you're doing is not paying off. You know, it's, ne it's never going to be seen. In fact, when you start looking at things from another standpoint where it's like, doesn't matter, you're still learning, you're still growing, even through an experience like this and you're resilient. And yes, sometimes it happens. Sometimes we have to stop making a film because whatever, even if it hurts on the moment, you still take out something out of this experience. Uh, and I think through all of this, yes, it led me to become, to direct this film. So you're absolutely right. You know, in a way it felt like it was like, it was meant to be, right? Um, uh, and this is the way I approach things now much more. It's like, yes, it was, things are kind of sometimes meant to be and then, and then everything you guides you there, right? Yeah. Um, as for the bad guys, and, and I never really wanted to be a director, first off. You know, I started in animation wanting to be a great animator, and that's it. And then <laughs> and then slowly realized, wow, I can learn from this, and I can try this. And then and then slowly you're like, oh my god. And then I directed Bilby, and when I, went, when I was directing it with my friends, we were like, I love this so much, because you're exposed to so many things, it's so creative. It's like there's so much that, that you're learning through this. This is amazing. And so I think this was going into bad guys was the, com the, com the, 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 the conjunction of so many things. One being, it's an amazing story. Uh, it's the world that I want to, you know, you know, it's the one world in which I feel comfortable creating this story. And this is a world that speaks to me so well because I know what to do there visually and the kind of characters like gangster heist film kind of thing, car chases, high octane action scenes. Yeah, yeah. Um, amazing message it's animals love that so that's one thing but also it's an opportunity for me to keep growing and learning and learning on a bigger scale and yeah. and i think those elements combined was like yes of course you know it's it was a no-brainer uh and of course there's luck and there's everything timing and everything is in there obviously you know yeah but i think from looking at it from this standpoint of like i think it was all about just how can you expand yourself and grow more you know and um uh and then obviously, you know, throughout all of this, you're like, you're working with an amazing team and people and you're trying to be all together, just creating something that is, because it's, making movies are hard, especially in animated movies. For I sure. mean, any movies is hard, really. Yeah. Um, but it was really just getting the rest of the team to be as inspired as you are, curious and passionate about this as, as, as I could. So, yeah, amazing life experience, amazing. It's a, it is it is amazing, it is amazing. And I, and I noticed that you're, uh, you're learning, you're growing, and one of the biggest things that you're learning right now is that animation was just the door to yeah. open you up to bigger creative things. And I'm really yes. proud of you for that. Good job, man. Good job. Thank you. For sure. Thank you. Um, okay, do me a favor. They're wrapping me up. So um, 15 seconds. Sell me this movie. Why do I need to go see the bad guys? All right, go see the bad guys because uh, first of all, it's an incredibly fun and endearing film. Uh, those characters are a group, a bunch of animals that um, you're going to totally fall in love for. But mostly, uh, you're going to have the, the ride of your lifetime watching those action sequences that are going to blow your mind. Check it out. It's quite awesome. And it's different from what you usually see. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you. Thank you, Zay. That was awesome. Man. Can't wait to talk to you again sometime soon. My pleasure. Absolutely. All right. See you, time. See you, man. Thank you all so much for watching When Zay Zay Met. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to be notified when we upload more conversations with celebrities and other interesting people. Now, if you'd like to see your favorite celebrity on the show, it's simple. Just tell us who that is by leaving us a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed today's episode, and we'll see you on the next one. Hasta la próxima. Lo quiero del corazón.